Looky there, there's Halry. There's Halry. Look at Halry. Remember Holly, guys? Hey guys, uh, thanks for coming back to my channel. I'm going to share something with you that I haven't shared yet. That uh, after the fire up at my brother's, he asked if, if uh, his truck could come down here. And this is this truck that used to be my dad's. And um, it got damaged pretty good in the fire, but it was still uh, it's still salvageable. Now here's here's what it looks like. I'm not sure on the year at this truck. I think it's a 79 or 81. It's a GMC. My dad bought this back when Brandon was about 2, I think. And he's going to be 22, so it's about 20 years. He's had, he had had it. They would, well, the, it's been in the family for 20 years. This is just some, it's some extra tires back there. But this side, this side didn't get any damage at all, really. Just some uh, minor stuff from things falling down, but it's the other side that really got it bad. Now this truck did. This truck was running before my dad passed away, and even after that. And then uh, Brandon did some work on it, but now this is what the fire did. Got all the uh, primer work that Brandon did, just heated up and melted it. Melted the top pieces there. I forget what that overhang is called. Burn that. Now, burn some of the the plastic from the bumper and one of the lights. The light right there. Burn that. Melted it. Didn't burn it. Just melted. Now see the inside. It's rough. Yeah. It's been uh, the windshield melted. Some of the top of the hood or the inside of the cab melted. But still, still could steer it. It's got a half a tank of gas in it. <laughs> but um, that's what it looks like inside there. Let's see if I can, I can get the uh, hood up. Let's see, oh, it's a, there it is, Sierra Classic 25. Let's see if I can get the hood up. Okay, I was able to get it up. Underneath, well. No wires are burned. It just is a little rough, a little dirty under here, but you know, truck's about 40 years old. <laughs> well, it's went through a lot. Guy's going to come here and do some work in the yard tomorrow. That's why I got some machines here. And I had to move the truck out of the way. But, uh,. Guy's going to come and get this one tomorrow, take it out to their place, out to their new home. They're outside of Mannington now. That's where Jesse lives. Jesse and Brandon and those guys. But that's my dad's old truck. When he passed away, went to, went to Brandon. Like I said, he's doing some work on it. He's only been able to drive for the past few years, but he doesn't have his license yet. But he's been busy. He, like I said, did some work on it. And after, uh, after the fire, you know, he just... Couldn't do anything with it yet until, until weather cleared up. But now he'll have it out there at his house to work on. And uh, they have a garage out there that they're going to put it in. Probably just need to put some extra lighting in there to get to be able to to uh, see to do the work. But yeah, I've been wanting to give you a tour of the truck. That's for Jesse because he was wanting that tour. He probably wanted it before now. I'm sorry about that, Jesse. But he was down here today looking at it too. So anyway... That's my dad's truck. Was my dad's. Now it's Brandon's. And hopefully he'll get it, uh, put some money in it and get it working this summer. So we'll see. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back and sticking around with me. I know it had been a while since I put a video out, then put my cat video out, and then uh, now my truck video. And hopefully I'll be a little bit more regular making videos on this channel. But if not, still keep coming back and looking. So. You know what's going on. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next Carpenter Vlogs WV.